guys, we are trying something new today. I got this from Facebook. Uh, you know how you see them recipe, recipes. Recipes. These are egg rolls wraps. And I am actually using a Polish. They used hot dogs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this inside of here. And then I'm going to fry it. Let's get started. Okay, guys, what you want to go ahead and do, put your oil on. Put it on about between 7 and 8. Don't put it too high because it might take you a little time to get the egg rolls uh, prepared. Make sure you are checking it and you're not letting the actual grease burn. But go ahead and get it on. Okay, guys, go ahead and get your Polish open. I don't know what it is about Polish and pa or packaging. It'd be so hard for me to get things out of packaging. I always have a trouble doing this. Like I told you guys, you do not have to use Polish if you don't want to. Um, they were using hot dogs, but I wanted to use something different. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these cut. And I'm going to make a uh, grand total of four. Go ahead and get your egg roll wraps out. And again, like I told you guys, you can be able to get this from uh, uh, Walmart or like in a produce section. Kroger's never have them. I don't know why they never have them. Kroger's always have things in different odd areas. So they might have them just in a crazy spot. I don't know what it is about Kroger's, y'all, but... I can never find stuff in Kroger's. Okay. And this actually is expired February 28th. So I'm going to have to try to find some different things to be able to use on this. Okay, guys. So what you want to do is go ahead and get um, one of the wrappers out. Let me make sure it's recording. But you can see. Hold on, guys. Okay. So go ahead and get your wrapper out. And then what you want to do is I don't want actually these to be too big so guys don't have them too big because if you have them too big they're really hard to wrap and you only got to use one i got a couple wraps on there and you know what maybe that might fit in there so let's go ahead and add that little piece in there y'all it might fit let's let's try it because you don't want it too small or too you know small so go, guys we're going to go ahead and wrap it let's wrap it and you want to close it so i think i am going to try it a couple ways um usually when i'm using this i usually um wrap it i'm gonna show you how i usually wrap it but we'll try this way you always gotta use a little bit of water make sure it's in there hold on hold on hold tight we're gonna double wrap this so this is good that you get to see the bloopers y'all because sometimes things is not as easy as you think this is what i needed to do y'all this is how we used to wrap our uh subway sandwiches when i used to work at subway i'm gonna take that off so i won't have so much put it right here wrap it take your your corners take your other corner and this is how you wrap it y'all so forgive me for trying to try something new so you got that little flap y'all what you gonna do is just put a little bit of water there y'all to close that flap okay so let's do it again and if you want to y'all have you a little bit of water so you can just press it and you don't have to keep on getting water like i'm going to have to but you know when you're doing videos it seems like everything is just crazy so again you guys let me make sure we're getting it okay so again you need to take it wrap it close it like that and then wrap it like an envelope okay and then you have this little flap and what you want to do is take a little bit of water and just put it right at that flap so you want to close and you can double wrap them if you want to sometimes y'all find when you double wrap them they kind of uh, cook a little bit more better or not double wrap them. You see what works for you. Okay, so put it right there, y'all. Put it triangle way. It should be like a triangle. Wrap it like this. Close it like that and then close it. I just feel like you guys doubling it, I feel like it's going to stay more secure. So, okay, put that little piece right there. We got our working on our last one, y'all. And we did not go double this one. Let's see how not doubling it does. And when you just do the same thing that you do to all of them. But it seems like to me, guys, not doubling it, it seems like it's thin. Like, you see how you can see the polish through it? I don't think I want it. I don't want it like that. I'm going to add one more um, little blanket. And this is easy, y'all. You can have your kids help you with this. And like I said, you guys, this is an experiment. There's nothing wrong with experimenting on things. Nothing wrong with it at all. Wait. I didn't like the way that one looked. Look at this, y'all. I got like little white stuff. I'm not for sure what that white stuff is, y'all. But I am very picky and very anal about certain things. Um, so I won't be using that one. I'm going to throw all that stuff away, too. Uh, why I uh, am letting them cook always clean up as you go okay wrap it y'all wrap it nice and tight don't leave nothing okay so then again you guys want to take some water and just put it right on that flap 
Okay, guys, so we wind up with four. So you, you see how that came undone? Make sure that does not come undone because you do not want that to happen, y'all, when you are um, cooking it because all your stuff will come out. So make sure you just put some extra water on there. Give it an extra love. Okay. So, guys, let's go ahead and get look at that. Um, get the hot grease. And we're going to start cooking. Hold tight, guys. Okay, guys, make sure you have some tongs. It's always good to have tongs. And what I'm going to do, y'all, I just took a little bit of egg roll wrapper. Uh, I'm going to throw it in there just to see if, if it's hot. And if you see sizzling, then you see, you guys, it's hot and it's ready. So let's go ahead and put these in here. And put them in here gently, y'all. And you need to make sure, y'all, that the... Um, I'm sorry. You got to make sure you're doing it gently because you don't want your insides to fall out. And some people say it's best to lay um, the actual envelope part on its back to cook first. And then some people say it's best to lay it the way that I did. You do both ways and see which work for you. But I find doing it this way is the best way. And I got it on seven. And you just let it just fry, y'all. I can't wait, guys, to see what this tastes like. Oh, I'm excited about it. So let it brown on both sides. And then I'll come back, okay? And make sure you are moving it around because you don't want this to stick to the pan. Okay, y'all? Do not let it stick to the pan. And if you have to turn it down a little bit, you can do that also. And if you want to, guys, you can actually cook your um, Polish first, warm it up first, and then cook it. That's what I'll probably do next time, y'all. I'm not for sure because, like I said, this is an experiment. But usually when I'm cooking with these egg rolls, I always cook whatever, you know, goes inside. Um, you know, unless it's some cabbage. You know, you can't cook no cabbage. I'm going to turn this on this side. She don't want to turn around, y'all. But she might be. And I don't want to mess it up. So, <laughs> leave stuff alone, y'all. Leave well enough alone. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave well enough alone. I'm going to let both of them cook on each side. Y'all, guess what I just found out. When you go get the wonton soup at the Chinese store, I love those noodles. Like, I freaking love those noodles. I pay extra for those noodles that you put inside the wontons. I just heated that one little crust up, and I forgot a gentleman told me that is how they make the wonton noodles. They use the egg roll wrappers, and they just kind of cut them um, up and slice them. I'm going to try that next time. You see that, guys? I got that white on there. It said it expired February the 28th. I don't really like when I see white. I'm thinking it's just powder and flour. That's what I'm thinking it is, though, guys. Okay, let's turn it around. Cook. You want it to cook on each side. And be careful. Do not get burned, guys, okay? You can let your kids help you wrap them, but I wouldn't let them turn this because you do not want them to get burned. I'm just tripping, guys, that I found that out. I did not know that that was, um, that's how you make wonton. I'm going to make me some wonton soup, too, y'all, because I love wonton soup. But I have not been able to figure out what's inside of the wonton. Like, what is that meat? Somebody let me know what that meat is. I've seen some wontons already made at Kroger's. I might try that. And if you want, y'all, this is experiment, but next time, y'all, y'all can put cabbage inside of here. You can do all kind of different things that you want to do and add whatever you want to add. Let me get the paper towel and out real quick. Hold on. Okay, so I got my paper towel in my plate. Always use a real plate, y'all, because you do not want to um, burn one of those styrofoam plates. Like if you're using hot grease and you're taking food out, you always have to use a real plate because if you don't, it's going to burn right through that, that oil. So, guys, let's take the test and see. It looks good. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some ketchup and mustard. They said it's best. I don't know. Why would you take out mustard and have all that freaking water in it like that? But the only time y'all eat mustard is uh, when I'm eating a hot dog or a Polish or something like that. Like I said, you guys, you can probably figure out what side you want to put in there. So, let's see, y'all. We got the ketchup, mustard. Let's try it. Y'all, when I say this is freaking good, this is freaking good, like freaking good. That's why I tell you guys, when you see different things on Facebook, don't be too afraid to try it. I love these guys. 
If you make these, you let me know how you like them. And I bet you can probably use all kind of topping gel. So try it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.